Hi guys, Review at 101 here. Um, got the Vipar Spectra light. This is a light I've already done a review on, uh, but I figured I'm gonna try getting some some of these light uh, reviews people want. Uh, this light Vipar Spectra seems to be the most popular light that I've reviewed, or one of the most popular lights that I've reviewed recently. So I figured I'd go ahead and do one on this real quick. Um, what I've done to this is modify the reflectors to fit LED lenses. Um, now these lenses, just for the people that are going to ask, um, I'm not sure what actual um, degree they are. They could be 10 degree, 60 degree. Um, they're probably not anything higher than that. They're in between 10 degree and 60 degree. Um, there is a difference. It's hard, very hard to tell the difference. Um, the ones that are 120 degree are the ones the easily, easiest to diagnose from the other ones um if you're a person who's buying lenses on ebay a lot of the companies that are saying they're 60 90 whatever nobody knows what they're selling um i've probably got three or four different shipments of um lenses that were supposed to be 60 or 90 degree lenses and uh, they're all 120 degree lenses um just a quick quick reference here and grab one I got all this LED junk beside me. Uh, this right here is a 120 degree lens. I don't know if you can can or can't see it, but this secondary little loop and ring here you can see the big ring the little centerpiece there and then you can see almost like a, a second circle around the main circle that is how you can tell this is 120 degree um, there's some website pictures and google images you can go to look at to reference to try to decipher what a hundred degree 120 degree lens is and a 60 and 90 degree lens. Um, the ones I was originally using on that, my first modification with the Mars Hydro where it's just crushing it with a par. I believe those are 60 degree lenses. Um, when I bought them, I was told they were 120. Again, like I said I bought them on eBay. People don't know what the hell they're selling. Okay, so anyway, do not sure what these are. I believe they're 10 or 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and verify the height. Eighteen, almost eighteen and a quarter. Um, go ahead and uh, turn it on. Um, just so uh, real quick information of what this light did before um 510 degree par was the highest i think i recorded or the center i get that to where you guys can see that a little bit easier no player Twelve sixty, twelve sixty one. That's more than double um, what it was before. Uh, it's on the corners, far right corner. We were at two twelve before. One hundred forty eight, far left corner. We were at two thirty eight. Now we're less than 130. Far right corner, we were at 279. Now we're at 247, 250. Far left corner before, no lens modification. 302. 
now 165. Um, so definitely kills footprint. Far right corner, why I already have it over here. We were at 59 before, and now it's 35. So with this lens modification, like with other lens modifications, you're going to kill the footprint. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do. So this being a similar setup to the Mars Hydro with the lens modification, um, Mars Hydro lens modification, uh, definitely more, efe more efficient um, with that. Um, that one this uses right around the same amount of power at the wall to 131 watts um so if you're planning on doing a lens mod the mars hydro still is the light to get for lens modding with when you get 1500 par and um uh, still get a pretty good spread with uh 12 by 12. you could easily use four of those and a um four by four grow tent and you know only using roughly you know, 520 something watts and uh, have a pretty nice 4x4 setup. Um, so a couple other lights that we're going to plan on doing in the future. As um, far as modifications go, I'll be doing a Mahizi one. Um, do Probably do one without any reflectors, it's just straight lenses, just to see what that does. Um, People wanted to see the Relato or however that's pronounced. Basically, Galaxy Hydro's uh, white or yellowish, their uh, 3500 or 4000 spectrum light, um, or 4000 Kelvin light, um, that I, I've already done the mod to it, so I just gotta make a video for that. Um, some lights that people want me to purchase for review um, Platinum 450, Platinum. Um, 600. I don't have a problem getting those, but until I find a way to get people to start helping me get these lights, I can't justifiably spend 500 plus dollars for a light that I'm just going to let sit around and do nothing with. Um, so, spitballing some ideas out there. PayPal, maybe link, put a link on my website. I mean, on my channel, under every review, under every light um, description, with how people could donate that way or use GoFundMe. And, you know, if anybody else has any recommendations on how, you know, you could chip in $5 here and there, $10, whatever it is you feel like comfortable donating, heck, even a dollar. Um, that way I can start getting more reviews out, get more videos up, get more uh, feedback on these lights so people know what to buy, what to avoid. Um, another thing, too, is a spectrometer. Really love to get one of those. Um, that would be my biggest thing, and those are like $2,500, so... We can find a way to get one of those it's only going to help my review my videos help my reviews um help you guys out so spitballs me some ideas um yeah just let me know um also once that starts going in if i get anything like that happen i'm going to start doing um some type of either monthly some type of either subscription where i've had enough subscribers or uh when i get to a certain point in views start doing uh, giveaways for lights so that way if people are start helping me with lights that way somebody wins you know once a month whatever it is get rid of some of these lights so that way the money that comes to me to get these lights is I'm not doing anything I'm not making any profit off it or anything but the lights go back out some lucky winner gets one every month or whatever I decide but let me know shoot me some comments as always like and subscribe and I'll see you the next time.